Andrew, here is your trivia for the day. Bring it. The average American does what 22 times a day? <laughs> oh, God. You have 10 seconds. Fart. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Opens the fridge. 22? <laughs> Are you kidding me? 22. No. There's no way I open that fridge 22 times a day. I guarantee you I open the fridge more than 22 times a day. Well, you're a vegan and you eat like lettuce. I don't eat lettuce. But anyways, ladies and gents, welcome back to the Clarendrew no, Podcast. No, it's not welcome back. It's a welcome. Welcome to the Clarendrew Podcast because this is technically the first one. I know we've done couples on a couch. Yeah. Couples in a car, couples with their coffee in a car. We've kind of <laughs> done this like 12 different times, but we legit have a legit studio and it's hopefully looks good. I don't, we don't even know if you're going to be watching this on, I feel like I'm like hunched over. I feel like I need to raise well, like the mic. Stand, Is that okay? Yeah, like sit okay, up. I was afraid to like touch Be something. proud. <clears throat> Anyways. Oh. Yeah, this is, this feels legit. Me and Claire went to Ikea. No, wait, hold on. Let's start at the beginning of the story. Yeah. Andrew comes upstairs into my office and literally just looks at me and he's like, we have to do a podcast. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, because if you know me, which maybe you do, maybe you don't. Having a podcast is like my goal. Like when Andrew and I talk about having goals in life, a podcast is one of my goals. I've always loved yeah. podcasts. All she does is like, I either want to be <laughs> uh, freaking a really cool person or a podcaster. And I'm like, okay, that would be dope to be a podcaster or whatever. And I was just sitting on my computer. I don't even know why, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to go buy a table and these things. No. So then you, you just interrupted me mid story. No, like I'm telling give, the story. I can't give my side of it. Well, let me give my side of it and then you can chime in. No, you, no, but you're you jumping come in around. When you come in the actual story. You don't know my <laughs> thought process behind this. I was sitting there and I'm like, I want to go make a podcast. I do this a lot. Okay. I'm like, wow, I want to become a painter. So I'll go buy paint or I want to become a dart world champion. So I'll go buy a dartboard and it's really annoying and it sucks because I just can't ever find just one thing I'm good at. So I was like, you know what? We're going to podcast. So I came upstairs and I said, babe. I kicked it like the lumberjack, you know, when they kick in the door and I'm yeah. like, I'm here to cut down your tree or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I did that. But I said, hey, you want to go podcast? And then Claire's like, I'm yeah. down. But usually I try to discourage Andrew's impulsive, mm -hmm. like buying this because mm -hmm. he does this thing where he'll like, where he'll like, like he said, if he wants to become like a dart board champion World or champion. whatever. World champion of dart. Then he will literally go and like buy a dartboard that day. And I'm yep. always like, babe, just think about it. Like sleep on it, like sit on it. But this time he's like, you want to do a podcast? I was like, yep. And then when we were at Ikea, mm -hmm. that's when I was like, should we be doing this? And I said, absolutely. We already spent $3 in gas. We might as well spend the other $10,000 on equipment. It wasn't $10,000. We only, we literally it bought a table and the curtains. So it's not like we bought, and the chairs. So it's not yeah, like we bought. Wait, they, look at these cool like they're cool and they're yellow. Yeah. I'm just saying. It's an when, 80s vibe. When I'm like focused on something, like I feel like putting all my energy into it. And you best believe potentially in the next episode of this podcast, we're going to have stuff all over this. I'm going to have the coolest gadget. We got some cool ideas. Yeah, I have a cool idea. Everything. Yeah, We're I not going to spoil idea. everything. And you then, have to tune um, in, I guess, next time to see like what, what we're going to do. Yeah. And also while we're at it, if any big corporations want to sponsor our podcast, the Claire and Drew podcast, sponsored by Boom, let us know. $50 million deals, minimum. Let's go, baby. All right. I'm going to need you to like tone down your voice a little. Sorry, I just got really passionate. I know, but, but it's just like a little loud. And it also is literally 1247 a.m. Oh, well. Okay. Tone it down. At least we won't be waking up. Anyways, me and Claire are just recently <laughs> celebrating our five-year anniversary. I know that doesn't seem like a big deal, but five years dating, not marriage, dating, because... Ew, that would be creepy. Why? Because that would mean that I married you when I was 18. So? People do that? People do get married at, like, 18. Well, I know, but I'm saying for me, that would be creepy. It's kind of weird. I don't think I go on Facebook. Well, I really never go on Facebook or Instagram. At least there's another marriage every week. 
well, everyone's I, getting well, married. Well, I just feel like like we're in a weird time in our lives where it's either like we have very single friends or we have like married friends. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like we are kind of that oddball that's like we've been dating for a long time. Five years is a long time, but we're not married yet. So it's kind of like But weird. we are the cool ones. Like I'm sure every couple that knows us oh is like, gosh. wow. Oh my gosh, that I is just wish, the ego. I wish I could be as the cool ego. as them. The you know? ego. What, what other couple that we know is out at 1247 a.m. making a podcast What other for couple YouTube? has the jobs that we have? No one. True. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is true. Literally nobody yeah. has like no one. It would be nice. But okay, but here's what I'm saying about this, Maybe. okay? So we ha- either have friends that are single or we either have friends mm. that are like married. Like I really yeah. feel like there's not a lot of in between with our friends it at is. this point where we're at right now. I, I don't I honestly don't think any of our actual friends are dating or Wait, if I actually not married. don't think they are. Yeah, I don't think they are. That's insane. Wow, I just except us. Wow, okay. Maybe we're we might be missing someone though. So don't just write everyone off. I don't think we are. Okay, but I was talking to one of my friends the other day. Like, she's calling me, you know, whatever. We're talking about guys. And obviously, I talk about boys. You're talking about guys? Andrew, stop. Looks like this five years ago. Stop. So, I'm like, she's asking me about guys, whatever. She's asking me about this one guy that she's been talking to. Mm -hmm. Like, kind of like asking me for, like, my advice. Like, you know? Yeah. Like dating advice. Of course. Yeah. And so I usually give my friends advice about everything, but like there was a moment where I was like, I don't think that I can give her advice because mm, I haven't had to date. Long. Yeah. Like the closest thing yeah. that I've yeah. come to dating is me. No, like Bumble BFF because I have no friends here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That. So what did you say? I just, I'm sorry. I can't help you. You're no, just going to have to. I just was like, I don't know. I just didn't really like chime wow. in how I normally would on other subjects. Wow. But it made me think. If you had to pick up a girl in this day and age before, like, I don't know if you ever used Tinder or. Like if we're broken up with. Yeah. Like say we break up. Kay. Right. Mm-hmm. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But yeah. Say we break up. Yeah. Do you think you could still pick up a girl? Like how would you pick up a girl? No, seriously, I don't pull, wait, don't, don't be like a, don't be annoying right now. I'm asking you a serious question. Yes. I would say yes. I'd probably go after one of your friends to make you jealous. No, but I'm saying like, how would you do it? Um, like, what would be your tactic? I don't think you even know how to do it anymore. Like, am I, That's what I'm trying am, to I, say. am I picking a girl because I'm like, wow, this girl's awesome. And I want to spend the rest of my life with her. Yeah, or like am you, I getting to get back at you? No, like you're in a good place and you just want to start dating again. But maybe it's not like, oh my gosh, this is my future wife. It's like, you just want to start dating again. Well, yeah, I think it'd be easy. I'd probably go to a bar. Oh, oh my God. No, you would never do that. You're literally such a liar. I literally would would. never just go to a bar to find someone. No, the difference is five years ago, I didn't have any money. And I couldn't be like, hey, let me take you out to you dinner. You don't like going to the bar now. What? what I, why would you I find a girl to. hanging out no, at a bar? The thing is, I don't need to. But you said, could you? And I said, yes. No, I, I said, how to, would you? I'd go to a bar, sit there like this. And then some lady would be like, wow, he is very hot. Oh, my gosh. And you really clearly, think that that's how? He's single. And then she comes up to me. I go, hey, let me buy you a drink. She goes, oh, my gosh, you're the nicest person ever. And I show her a magic trick. Boom. Oh, my gosh. You better hope that I never break up with you because you will be single for the rest of your life. That's your tactic to pick that's up a girl. Of, that's one of my tactics. I can't tell you everything. Andrew, no girl is going to go up to a guy sitting alone at a bar. Like, when... No, that's I'm just not, not. just. I'm not just one of these. Look at this. If you saw this sitting at a bar, you can't say, wow, I would now not Now you just him. sound like you're full of yourself. Now you just sound like you're full of yourself. Someone's going to come up and say, what's wrong, bud? I need a hug. Okay, well, aren't you going to ask me how I would pick up a guy? No, because my experience with you picking me up was non-existent. So I'm sure you have no approach. You really don't think I could pick up a guy? Why are you making this a competition? Because now you're, because I asked you, I, I thought you couldn't, but I want to know if you think I can. I mean, you're so hot. You just have to stand there. You would do like almost what I did, my strategy, except my approach would be sad. Yours would be like, 
the guy being wild. Wow, she's hot. And I think it's way easier for girls I, to you get know, guys I actually do than agree guys to that. get girls. I agree with that. Yeah. I think, but also I think also like just the stereotypical like way people are being asked out. It's Ugh. like, it's usually the guy that's like going, like going for it. Like it's usually the guy that's like, hey, can I buy you a drink? It's not usually the girl. But I think that girl's, should do that if yeah. you think you see a guy that's cute i think you should go up to them and buy him a drink why not well but it's not just like because we're i dating. think we like both dating, would be so really wanna... bad at it yeah if we broke up and we had to like start dating again i think we both would be extremely bad at it yeah the problem with me is i just kind of don't care like like i don't i know that's why i'm saying there's literally no way you would ever just like go to a bar it depends on how desperate or you would never do that I it know depends. you, and I know you would literally never do that. She doesn't know nothing. But have she you ever, before we dated, did you ever like, well, I guess we started dating when you turned 21. I. But like, other than that, how, how did you like pick up your <clears throat> other, you know, you know, I don't know I, exes or like girls that you talk to? You know, honestly, I learned a lot with you and I learned magic is the way to a girl's heart. Oh and my that's gosh. My that's my approach so true, from now though. on. But anyways, we are going to implement a segment called. Weird news, real news, where we talk about weird news. I'm so excited. And also, weird real news. news. No, weird news and real news. I said real, weird news. Real. No, I said weird and real. It's weird, real. That's what I said. Weird news and real news. And I said where we talk about weird news and real Maybe news. Maybe you need to like pronunciate more. I'm sure they understand because I said it perfectly fine. But yeah, Claire did the research to find out the weird news. I don't know what it is. Because it was not my role to find the weird news this episode. So what is the weird news? No, I think we should today? start with the real and then end with the weird. Okay, the real news. Because it's called the real news, weird news. Yeah, okay. Right? No, like, it's called the weird weird news, real news. Yeah. Oh. Real. It's, it's written on that board right there. <laughs> weird news, real news. But anyways, oh, the well, real then news. Oh, we have to start off with the weird. Okay, weird news first. No, we'll do weird. We'll do the real news. We'll do real so weird. So should we change it? Yeah, it'll be real news, weird news. Why is real and weird so hard to say? Real, <laughs> real wheel, real wheel, wheel, real, real wheel, real wheel, wheel, real, weird. Real okay, weird. okay, okay. Anyways, the real news, and I actually just saw this about uh, like probably an hour ago while I was on my phone browsing Twitter. <laughs> Taylor Swift. Where are you on your phone browsing Twitter? I can't tell you. <laughs> Anyways. I was browsing. I just like face planted my mic. <laughs> Anyways, Taylor Swift is back in the drum skis. I kind of know what's going on pretty much. And I, I'm sure you know. Do you because, really know what's going on? Yeah, I know. I saw this probably about seven hours. No, it's not seven hours ago. <laughs> solid flex, bro. Okay. Before Anyways, you. what's going on in my eyes is Taylor Swift had a bunch of songs, bangers, some of my favorite songs Taylor Swift's ever made. <laughs> So her, Wait, side note. If you guys didn't know this, Andrew oh was God. literally so obsessed. Who wasn't? If any guy was the ages 13 will, to 17 like I was, they loved Taylor I Swift. Know, like, it's just, it's just like, I literally never forget when you tweeted. No, you put it on your Instagram, I think. You were like, took a picture of like the red uh album in your lap. You're like, I just spent yeah, all my I just spent all my money on That was a horrible album. album. Anyways. Anyways, back to the news. Okay, sorry. Who is this lady? My girlfriend. Anyways, Taylor Swift had a bunch of songs. She had her record label. They got bought out, right? Or sold. And then this other company yeah, said... I don't know every logistic of it, but yeah, you're pretty So much like they track. sold out. Taylor Swift lost her rights to her own music. And this guy... What's his name? Scooter Braum. Scooter, Scooter Braum. He's like... He works with Justin Bieber, I think. Yeah, yeah. And he's saying... Uh, no, you can't play this music. You can't rewrite write this music because it's my music. I'll sue you. Okay, no, I own you're this. kind of off. You're kind of off. I own it. That's what I No, read. okay, I know. But so he owns like, I forget what it's called. It's something weird. It's called like like the, the transcripts or like it's something like different. Like that's not music. He, if that makes mm. sense. But he owns like pretty much like the songs, which means he owns the rights to the songs. So like, she was saying she has a Netflix series coming out and she was saying that, that she has um, a concert or something or something. She's getting no, an she's, award she's or something. Like yeah. The, uh, the 10, like the creator of the yeah. decade. Which yeah. Is a yeah. Big deal. And because it's on TV, like monetization, all that kind of stuff. Um, she can't sing those songs that they own, but they own everything, like everything up, I think, to this last album. <sighs> 
So he's saying you can't do that. He's saying the only way that I'll let you do that is if you like pretty much retract the fact that you said that you would record all of these again. Mm. So like the only way she could like own the music again is if she literally re-records every one of the songs under this new agency or agency whatever. or whatever. I don't even know if we're wow. talking about it. Right. But so then she was like, pretty much she tweeted out and she was just like, don't do this. Like I'm doing this because like I have no other way around this anymore. Like my team and I have tried to handle it privately, but they're trying to shut me up. So my question is, why does she just re-record all of them real quick and then play because, a live version of it? Yeah, be, I don't know. I, I just don't think it's possible. Like probably with everything she has with this new album coming out, like I actually don't think it's possible. Mm. So she's just saying like, no, this is not right for them to like put me in this situation. And they, it also, they have nothing to do with the music. It's not like they co-produce the music. It's nothing. It's just literally about like the rights to the music. It's just so yeah, Crazy. pretty much what I'm getting from this is I do not want to be involved in the music industry because it seems like that makes absolutely no sense. If it's Taylor Swift's song, how she can't legally perform it at a no. award ceremony where she right <clears throat> get choked up. <laughs> this is Scott Brom guys and get freaking popped. Scooter. But anyways, babe, what is your like? What is a weird oh, news? Because okay. I'm sure it I might be. I could honestly talk about that Taylor Swift thing forever because it's just like that's like so up, horrible. Dude. No, it's horrible. Like in my eyes, like I'm not in the music industry, but like let's say in the YouTube industry, let's say I'm on a agency and then they steal or they sell out to this other agency, yeah. and I go, hey, I want to react to these videos. They go, no, we own them. I'm like it's my video. Yeah, it's bro. like it's my work. It's yeah. my creation. Like even, it's my art. It's just like under their involved, like copyright or whatever. Did it, you know, like if they yeah. were involved somehow 10 years ago, then, then, yeah, sure, like, whatever. then there's some, maybe a thing, little but, bit, but even then, Ooh, anyways, what is this weird news? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Weird news. Ooh. Wait, I have to pull it up so I don't get anything. Wrong. Oh my God. How are you going to do that? You don't even know what it is. I had that. Okay. Ready? For, yes. This isn't too weird. But this is like weird cute. Okay. I like that. Kind if of. If you think. have been on Twitter in the last 24 hours, I would hope to the good Lord that you have seen this. I have been on Twitter multiple times. Have you heard about... I can't even say it. It's so cute. Have you heard about Narwhal, the unicorn puppy? Andrew, it's a the little puppy, unicorn puppy that was born with a tail in the middle of its forehead. And his name's Narwhal. His name's Narwhal. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my God. It literally is so cute. How does that even happen? Like, look at it. It does literally he, has a tail. Does he have an actual tail? Yeah, it's like a tail. I mean, it doesn't wag. No, but, like I'm saying like... Oh yeah, he was just born with a tail on his face. So he has a tail on his face and his backside. And his name is literally Narwhal. That is hilarious. And How also cute adorable. is that? Also, Narwhal, even for a puppy that doesn't have a tail on their face, is like pretty cute name. I feel like if that puppy grows, obviously, like it's going to because that's how the tail biology grow? works. Is it going to get less and less cute? It might. Because I mean, like, I know I might get hated for this, but it's pretty obvious that puppies are way more cute yeah, than no, full grown dogs, right? That's like, yeah. For sure. But a puppy with a tail on his face, is that going to I be... I think if maybe like the tail grows a lot, then it might be like weird. But if the it, tail stays, usually like when things like that happen, they stay yeah, the like size a, they are. You know, yeah, it's not going to like grow. Hmm. Maybe it'll know. just look like a little we'll long see. eyebrow. And like in a year, we'll update you on what on narwhal. narwhal looks like. <laughs> that Yeah, that is that is a very interesting... Wow, Narwhal. That, that, the name is Clutch. Right? Narwhal. Because like if you don't know what a narwhal is, it's that thing with the thing in its thing. Yeah. Uh, Wait, wasn't there a narwhal on Elf? Yes, I was. It like, was. bye, buddy. He's like, bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. I hope you find your dad. Yeah, that's narwhal. What was his name? Hey, hey. Hey, Mr. Johnson. Narwhal. <laughs> Mr. Narwhal. It could be Mr. Narwhal. I don't narwhal. think it was a narwhal. It was a narwhal. But I don't know what his name was. It was definitely a narwhal because he... Hey, buddy. Or... Hey, hey what? buddy. Yeah, bye, buddy. Hope yeah, I don't remember what his it. name was. Mr. Narwhal, John Narwhal, Mr. Loch Ness Monster. Mr. I, don't know. I, th okay, I know his name is Mr. Know. Something. We don't know. Um. Yeah. So what we're gonna do right now is another new segment called. Well, you checking the board? Yeah. You I was forgot about to see. this. We have our, we have our things that we're. Yeah, and talk I can't really see out. the board too well because this thing's blocking me. But I got the memory. Is that of, bad that we just told them that? No. Like our secret. 
I mean, this isn't really a secret. I'm sure we are probably not going to do this two times in a row. Like the board, I'm sure a lot of things are going to be different. But anyways, the comment question of the day. Oh, yeah. What was that one that he asked on Instagram that you said, oh, we should talk about this Wait, one? Wait, will you explain what this is? While okay, yeah, this is good. good idea, babe. Good idea. Comment question of the day. Every podcast, if you guys want a chance for us to answer your question, you got to leave a comment below right now and leave any question you want. We're going to, I would say the most likes gets picked, but there's going to be a chance that someone leaves some stupid trolley question and everyone's going to like it. And then we're going to be like, I'm not going to answering, I'm not going to be answering this weird question. Okay. But we'll do the top liked question with like, that would actually make sense for a YouTube video. You feel me? So Claire is currently browsing the questions she was asked. We might need to make one up since we haven't done this before. Um, okay, the only one that I would say mm. we could potentially do, but we okay. might, it might be too long of like an answer. Yeah, and someone, these are quick. Someone said, advice for talking to your crush in person. Okay. That's the kind of the only one that's like really like question based. Okay, we got 22 minutes. How long does this go? 30? Yeah. Okay, I we'll think be that's quick. Perfect. Yeah, we'll be quick. This is this is a good one. If if I was to, uh, like, I mean, I would need more information. Does she know you like her? Does she like you? If that's the case, good for you. You go out and you say hello, I love you. Don't say that. Actually, I take oh my that gosh, back. Gosh, Andrew, that is such Don't bad advice. That. You just go up to her and you say, "Hey, I'm not here to play games. I want you to be my girlfriend. Let's go to the melting pot. Wait, but and get some fondue." And then she goes, oh absolutely. I mean, there's a lot I need to know. Your age, if she likes you or not, like what your favorite movie is, what did you eat for <laughs> breakfast that day? I need a lot of information here, but I say if she likes you, just go up to her and say, hey, I like you, you like me. How about we get together and go eat some candy? Okay, well, this is what I say because that was literally the worst advice that I've ever heard. I say... I say you take it to a psychological no, level. No, I understand her needs. Let me answer. I let you answer. Don't be rude. Barely. Don't be rude. I think that the best advice that I have, and this is actual advice, this isn't your dummy dumb advice. The best advice I have is just to go be yourself. But I would honestly say try to like befriend her. Like if you want to talk to her, like just go up to her and like be like, what's up? This is such bad advice. You, how are you going to say my advice is bad? And you, your first thing is just like be, yourself. be yourself. What is, that makes no sense. That okay, like, let me rephrase it then. I, I was actually legit. Okay, okay, okay. I think that you should be able to go up to someone and like, just if you like your, if you like someone, like you should just go start a conversation with them. So ask them about like, how is their weekend or like what they do. And then once you start to get closer to them, that's when you kind of like start flirting with them. So you like put your hand, I don't know. Ooh, we have been out of the game for a long time. No, my answer was legit. <laughs> no, it wasn't. You were like, if she go likes up to you, her and say hi. If she knows who you are, say, hey, what's up? Let me get your Snapchat. And then Snapchat her a face like this. Ew, no, I hate Snapchat. And then she goes, oh, you're so funny. And you go, I know I'm funny. Let's go watch this movie after going to the melting pot. Girls love the melting pot. <laughs> is the melting pot just a Colorado thing, though? No, it's everywhere. It is? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Fondue. You could say fondue. Unfortunately, now Claire's vegan, so I can't take her to the melting pot, which is also clutch AF because it saves the bank account also a little the, bit. What? I won't say anything negative because what if one day there's a sponsorship? Melting pot, you want to sponsor me and Claire? Let's freaking go. But I think that's all we have for episode number one. This is episode number one. Like I literally just said, only going to get better. Yeah. We're going to add stuff. I'm sure it's, I'm sure when we, we look back on this and we're like, wow, this was literally terrible. Yeah. It, it, it's definitely going to be the worst podcast on the channel. And while we're at it, um, we're going to make a second channel yes. that breaks these up into smaller portions. So if you guys don't want to watch the whole thing or if you don't have time, um, you can go to the second channel and we will title it what we talk about yeah. in that segment. So if it's like dating advice from Claire and Drew or, or like the Taylor Swift stuff. Yeah, Taylor or... Swift guy is going to jail or whatever. That's how these are going to be broken up on that second channel. So make sure you guys go sub to that link in the description. But we recommend obviously watching the full podcast. And again, <laughs> any sponsors out there, anyone, Claire's dad, if you're watching, do you want your daughter to have a good future or not? I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> Pay us money. Okay, let's go.
but I think that was good, babe. I yeah. think we did good. I'm actually. I'm really nervous to go in this because I'm afraid the audio is gonna be like. And I'm gonna be like, uh, 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 I'm gonna get a punch freaking hole in the wall. But then hopefully that doesn't happen, because I'm in a very good mood and I don't want it to be ruined. Well, thanks for tuning in today, you guys. Um, make sure to leave that comment so next video we can answer your uh, question for our advice mm -hmm. of what is it called? Comment, comment question, question of, of the, day. the day. I don't know why that's so hard for me to remember. Whatever. Do we have? Do we? Do we have like a? It's closing. No, we can't get copyright strike. Wait, let's try to come up with a song to close it out. That would be funny. Um, no, no, no. God, it has to be. It has to be slow. We, we are, are going, going away. away. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> All right, close it there, ladies and gents. That's at end of o o o one. We're gonna have a thousand of these. Claire, I think needs to see a doctor, and we're out. Bye. <laughs>